Hey guys, so this will be my second substantive video that I've uploaded to my channel and for this video I actually just wanted to do a quick video on spiderling molting. Um, this week I recently had two of my spiderlings molt. Um, on the right hand side here is the molt of my Chaco Golden Knee or my Grandma Stola Pulper piece. Hiding back here behind the plant. Um, and over here on the right hand side is the molt of my um, Brachypelmy Amelia, which actually molted last night. And uh, she is just right there, kind of bunched up. I'm a little nervous that I opened the lid. Um, so when your spiderling is about to molt, uh, there's some behaviors you can look for to know that they're, that they're about to molt. Uh, both of these spiderlings um, begin to fast probably uh, six to 10 days before they molted. Um, and then right before they molted, they uh, ended up uh, spinning silk pads in the, the chocolate golden knee, actually in, the, in their little corner back here, it's hard to see, so there's not much left of it, spun a silk hammock. And when it came time for her to molt, she laid on her back in that hammock and molted. So when you see a spiderling on its back, uh, it is molting and you need to leave it alone. Um, the uh, Brachypelmy Amelia just kind of laid down a silk pad and it molted so quick that we didn't even know what was happening. Um, another thing to look for is their coloration will get very dark. Uh, generally, after mine have started fasting, probably uh, about three days before their uh, molt, they uh, became very dark in coloration, um, which makes me suspect that my uh, um, Brachypelmy Smithy here is about to molt. Uh, it's been a number of days since she has began refusing food, and uh, she is very dark in color uh, at this point. Um, so I suspect that she'll be molting soon as well. Um, she hasn't began to lay down a, a silk pad yet, and I don't know if she will, but uh, I'd say she's getting close. Another behavior that some tarantulas will d display in pre-molt, um, like my Campus Curia geniculata here, is they will bury themselves in their burrow and uh, plug up the hole. Um, right here at the base of this rock is kind of a dip in the in the substrate and that's where she has plugged herself up and she's got a little den under there fairly deep uh, where she's been hiding out for about the past two weeks uh, so if they do that uh, don't worry um, that's natural don't dig them up leave them alone um, uh, she'll come out when she's hungry she's a very aggressive eater and uh, I suspect that when she's uh, finished molting that she will uh, dig yourself back out and uh, come up. Anyways, I uh, hope this video was helpful for you guys. Um, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave those below and I will uh, uh, try to get back with you. Anyways, thank you.